R right. I exactly. And if you think you're gonna scare me looking all evil like that, you're wrong. It won't work. I I'll have you know that I re report. <laughs> We're back again to play some games. Last episode of Obey Me, we lost Luke. We have no idea where he's at, but we did find like a a scale model of the of the house of lamentation, and then there's a a random room that doesn't exist that we saw. And now I'm thinking we have to go find this room. And maybe Luke is going to be there. Hopefully he'll be there. And if he's not there, then Simeon is going to hate us forever. There are some wounds that time can't heal. There's nothing here. It's just a wall. But the dollhouse... It definitely shows a small room here but there's no door and if I remember correctly the one thing that should be on the other side of this wall is Lucifer's room oh. could the dollhouse model be wrong why is there a dollhouse model anyway which one is wrong Bill's memory or the dollhouse model I mean, didn't I look at it too Memory of what's on the other side of the wall with the house model. Neither is wrong. Mm. So you're saying there's a room there, but you wouldn't know from the outside. In other words, a secret room. Yeah. yeah. Take a look at this line. Look at the spot on the wall. It looks like a de decorative pattern, but I can make out words written there. It's a message written in the language of angels. This is what it says. When the morning star dwelt When the morning star dwelt in the heavens, its light shone down upon this one. Sparkling brilliantly the eighth of the eight. Uh, I don't get it. It's a riddle, and more importantly, I know the answer to it. The morning star is another name for Lucifer. So when the morning star dwelt in the heavens means when Lucifer was an angel. Okay, okay. Its light shone down upon this one, sparkling brilliantly, the eighth of the eighth. That part refers to someone Lucifer loved deeply, the eighth child of eight, our sister. Her name was Lilith. Let's go. Oh, the door opened up. <laughs> Nani? I thought I was like, are we, did we die? All that white. I, I know this place. It's Lilith's room from back in the celestial realm. I'm sure, so she never, she never made it down to Doubledom, I'm guessing. What's Lilith's room doing here in the House of Lamentation? I'd like to know more about Lilith. I'm so nosy. But yeah. Wagatta. Like I said before, Lilith was our sister. With our little sister. But she's gone now. She died in the Great Celestial War. Mm. Aww. Aww. Do you know about the Great Celestial War? About what happened then? Nope. Uh. My brothers and I were originally angels. That was back before the Great Celestial War. Before we were cast down. Or cast out. Lucifer incited a revolution against our father. And we aligned ourselves with him. Huh. Those who followed our father fought against those who followed Lucifer. That was the Great Celestial War. In the end, our father crushed our rebellion and cast us out of the celestial realm. Why did you guys fight? 
During the battle, my sister Lilith's wing was pierced by an arrow. Both Belfie and I saw it. It happened right in front of her eyes. She fell down out of the heavens and died. Mm. Just before Lilith was shot, I saw angels from the opposing side draw their bows and aim at both her and Belfie. Huh. I couldn't save them both. The three of us were too far apart. I knew I'd only be able to get one of them in time. Then suddenly, Belfie's eyes met mine, and just like that, I rushed over to him and shielded him from the attack. I wasn't able to save Lilith. She died, and it was my fault. You did nothing, Bill. You couldn't help it. That was a long time ago. You didn't do anything wrong. Hmm. Everyone tells me that. You couldn't help it. That's what they all say. That's true. But none of them saw what I saw. Huh. They didn't see how Lilith looked at me as the arrow pierced her wing in the split second before she fell. They didn't see that look of despair. Huh. Belfi hasn't ever come out and said it, but I think he blamed me for not being able to save Lilith. I know he wanted me to save her instead of him. In fact, I knew that I knew that at the time, but I chose to save him instead. Lauren, what would you have done? Don't ask me questions like that. I don't know. <laughs> if you had been in my shoes, who would you have saved, Belfogor or Lilith? Oh, why? Why do I have to answer it? They're both far away. I don't know. <laughs> Lilith is the youngest. And I guess I would try to save the youngest. But that's still not right. Why do I have to answer this question? Can I like not answer this question? I don't want to answer. Uh, Belfagor. Because he saved Belfagor. I don't want him to feel bad. Oh. Your DDD is ringing. You should get that. I bet you was Lucifer. Oh. No, it's Mama. What does he want? Oi! Where are you from? He's looking for me. <laughs> hey, Lauren, where are you? Oh. Something seriously bad is about to happen here. Get your butt down here to the underground tomb now. Hurry. Oh, oh. Is it Luke? I thought he was talking about a real dog. He's talking about Luke. Nani? The dog. Does he mean Luke? Come on, we better get to the underground tomb. I didn't know we had underground tomb. Oi. Lucifer, come on. Calm down a little, would ya? He's just a lost dog, that's all. There's no need to go revealing your true form over it. Now is there? Oh, it is Luke. How'd you get down here? R r right, I exactly. I and if you think you're gonna scare me looking all evil like that, you're wrong. It won't work. I I'll have you know that I re report. <laughs> How many times are you gonna say that? I'm sorry. <laughs> you say that every single time. He reports directly to Michael. Archangel, one of the greatest angels of all. Okay, yeah. Luke, that book you've got in your hand. Do you realize what that is? Eh? Y you mean this? I found it a minute ago. The scripture on the stone coffin there was holding it. Nani? I know that book. I know that. Finally! Lauren, Beale, you're here. It took you long enough. That's a... Grimora? Grimora? 
A grimoire? A grimoire? Magica. What? No. What? I don't know what that is. What is that? Uh. Yes. It's a book of magic known as a grimoire. Several of them exist. Actually, there's one installed on your DDD as well, Lauren. Nightmare is a grimoire. But Nightmare is nothing more than a trial version of sorts. It can temporarily borrow a demon's power. Uh, is this what, uh... Does Solomon have this? Is that what he used before he came down here? The grimoire Luke is holding has the power to control a demon, to make him do anything, even if it's a violation of a pact. Everything that we are rides on that book. We can never allow it to be stolen under any circumstances. I didn't realize Lucifer was hiding it here in the underground tomb. How did he come? How did Luke get down here? This is no time he's standing around lost in thought, Beale. Get with the program. Now listen up, dog. Why I want to know is how you ended up lost in a place like this. No one else but us has access to this place, so how'd you get here? That's what I want to know. Uh, I don't know. Your, your guess is as good as mine. I tumbled down out of the closet in Bill's room and found myself here and then- Don't get us in trouble. Wait. Blazebulb's room? Did I hear that correctly? Did you just say the words Blazebulb's room? Huh? Uh oh. This is bad. Uh oh. Blazebulb. Blaze bulb. Duty bound. I don't know, we're in trouble. Blaze, blaze bulb's in trouble. Blaze bulb. Were you hiding this angel in your room? Did you allow him access to the house of lamentation? This angel who would steal the, who would try to steal the grimoire? Y you got it all wrong. I wasn't trying to steal it at all. I know that. Hey, idiot. This ain't no time to be making excuses. Once Lucifer flips out, it's no use trying to stop him. I mean, there's one guy who could do it, but... He's in the attic? YouTube had better be ready to face the consequences. Or maybe Satan? Maybe Satan can come in there? I don't know. Step in and shield both of them from Lucifer. Yeah, let's do that. Oi. Lauren? Hmm? Out of the way, human. Or do you want to die here? I can't give in. I have to protect them. Stop it, Lauren. Magica. Come on, this is serious. He's going to kill you for real. A human risking so much to defend a demon and an angel. How very interesting. Well, if you want to be a hero, you're going to have to choose one of them to save. Bleasbulb or Luke. Oh. It's one or the other. Make your choice. What? I don't like this kind of question. Lucifer says I can only choose, I can only save either Bleasbulb or Luke. No, I want to save both. Lauren. What's that now? You want to save both. Do you actually think I'm going to allow a lowly human that choice? That you can have whatever it is you want? No. What happened? Lauren. Come back to me, Lauren. Who's talking? Lauren. Uh. You're awake. Huh. I've been here watching you. I thought you might never wake up, since humans are so fragile and all. I'm really glad you're awake again. Oh. 
you remember what happened? You made Lucifer really mad when you stepped in to protect Luke and me. You almost got yourself killed. If Lord Devil hadn't come running up, you'd be dead right now, you know. Oh, I got saved by the Devil? Hmm. Uh. Lord Devil managed to stop Lucifer. Hmm. You see how Lucifer looked back then? And yet you stepped in front of him and spread your arms out to block him. It was like you had a death wish. Because I'm brave. I'm very brave. You need to go to you need to go to Lord Davila and thank him for saving your life. Now I'm not asking about where Mama is. Were you hurt, please above? Was Luke hurt? Well you look fine. Where's Luke at? Uh. Nah, don't worry, he's fine. As for Luke, Simeon came and took him back to Purgatory Hall. Mm. Okay. That was pretty shake. He was pretty shaken up after what he experienced. Not. Luke didn't do anything wrong. I'm the one to blame here. I'm the one who hit him in my room. I'm the reason he disappeared. I'm the one who failed to calm Lucifer down and uh, ended up putting you in danger. Uh. Aww, don't feel so bad. All of that was my fault. When you stepped in to shield me from Lucifer, I was pretty shocked. Mm. I mean, why would you go to such... Why would you go to those lengths? You're not a demon or an angel. You're not even someone with powerful magic. You're just a regular human. So why? Why did you try to protect Luke and me? I didn't think about it, it was a first reflex because you're my friend and you're important to me. You're my friends. <laughs> so, I'm your friend. Uh, as I watched you there sleeping, as I looked at your face, I couldn't help wondering if the, situa if the situation had been reversed where I had stepped in to defend you. Don't think about it, it didn't happen. <laughs> Don't worry about some something that didn't happen. I want to do something to make it up to you. Thank you for saving me. So is there anything I can do? Mm, maybe. Exactly. Make a pact with me. Yeah. So you've made packs with Mama and Leviathan? And now you want to make one with me? Why are you so interested in making packs with demons, huh? I want to know why you want to make a pact with me. Let's hear it. Do I have to tell him? You can't open this door because it's still with a very powerful sword of magic. In order to break the seal, you'll have to put all seven brothers under your control. But I don't, I don't think we should tell him. What I'm trying to say is that you should make packs with these demons, all of them. Hmm. Personally, I'd like to be able to have a proper face-to-face -face talk with Lucifer. Sure, he may have had a falling out, but really it was only a little misunderstanding. If I could talk with him, he realized that that was the case. I need to find some way to get out of here, find Lucifer, and have a talk with him. That's all I want. Okay, okay, we've seen this before. Now, I'll say this as many times as I have to because it's important. You can't tell my other brothers about this. They have to keep believing that I'm up in the human world as an exchange student. I want Lucifer to respect me. Nani? You want Lucifer to respect you? Why? So that he'll let me help him make up with Belphegor. Hmm. I was expecting to say that. Mm. So by making packs with us, you're hoping to impress Lucifer? So that he'll understand you're actually someone worth listening to, despite the fact that you're a human? You want to do what even Solomon hadn't been able to accomplish? All right. I feel the same way. I want both Corn and Lucifer to make up too. <laughs> so I'll do it. I'll make a pack with you, Lauren. Oh, another one down. We got three now. Three. Elsewhere, at roughly the same time, another conversation is taking place. I'm sorry, Diablo. I was so blinded by rage. 
I was so blinded by rage that I lost control of myself. If I actually attacked Lauren, then the entire exchange program would have ended in disaster. And Griffley showed up to stop me. Thank you. Well, this was an understandable reaction on your part. As demons, everything we are rides on that grimoire. If I had if I had been stolen, that would have been a disaster as well. Ah. You were trying to protect your brothers, weren't you? Perhaps. But I nearly ended up losing one of them in the process. Beal. I know how important your brothers are to you, Lucifer, how much you care. And if they can see that as well, if they understand it, then that's a good thing, however. You said something to Lauren back there. Do you actually think I'm going to allow a lowly human that choice? That you can have whatever you want? No. Your loyalty to me? Your brother's freedom? Their right to know what's really going on? You place so much importance on all of these things. So I wonder, who is it that really isn't being given a choice here? Who is it that's suffering from the lack of options? What do you think, Lucifer? One more. One more. Who's the liar here? Who's the liar? Oh, awkward. Ah, uh, normally everyone's so happy and full of energy at breakfast, but they're so tense today. After hearing about what happened last night, I'm not surprised. How about you, Levi? You weren't involved in the drama at all. Hot. <laughs> oh my god. I haven't left my room. <laughs> I haven't left my room in three days since Mass <laughs> Diablo released. That's my new game. I've been busy trying to finish it. It's an open world set in the human world. Would you try to destroy by asserting control over Diablo, Lord of the Underworld. It's amazing. Okay? I swear. But you know, I can't really speak. <laughs> I've been... <laughs> I've been binging the, uh... I've been playing the whole, uh... Final Fantasy VII, the original, so that I can play Final Fantasy VII, the remake. So, I've been playing that all day. And Animal Crossing. So you're playing yet another game with inappropriate themes. <laughs> Still, I have to admit, sometimes there are advantages to being a shut-in. You avoid getting caught up in unpleasant business like what happened last night. Yeah, you can definitely say that. Just look at Bill. He's on a six cup of soup. That's only half his normal pace. <laughs> I see that Mama has that same stupid look on his face as he always does. Hey, hey, what's that about my face now? You all, stop whispering over there. If you got something to say, just come out and say it. Nah. I, know, I don't know what you're talking about. We weren't whispering. Don't have a hissy fit, Mama. Uh. You know, we weren't able to use the kitchen until yesterday as someone had destroyed it. So I say we're the victims here. This is really uncomfortable. Head off to class early. Let's go. Move I got to turn on assignments. Uh, it's Lauren. Mm. Would you come see me in the music room before heading to class? Sure. Oh. Will you write me a late pass because, you know, teachers don't like it when you come in late. I need, come, I need some sort of pink slip or something. Ooh, Lucifer wants to see Lauren. Yikes. Super scary. <laughs> Careful, Osmundus. He might hear you. Uh huh. They're worried about me. The people I have packs with are worried about me. 
all three of the demons I made packs with are looking over at me. Honestly, I kind of forgot that I made a pack with Levi. Because <laughs> I haven't seen them at all. Mama showed up. I've been believable the whole time, and Levi's just not there. All three of the demons I've made packs with are looking over at me now with worried looks on their face. Maybe I could have one of them accompany me part of the way to the music room. Let's do Blazable because. Yeah, because his is the lowest of the three. I think Mama has the highest um, little number. Alright. This is as far as I can go with you. I don't know what Lucifer wants, but I sure hope it doesn't turn out to be bad news for you. Yeah, you better not kill me. Don't go dying on me, okay? Okay, so we got Bully's Bowl. We got him. That makes three. We got three of them now. Three packs. I feel bad for Luke. He's like, <laughs> poor Luke. I really don't understand how the closet ended up bringing him down there. Are we terrified of Lucifer now? Terrified. Because he's crazy. I don't want to mess with the guy. So thank you for watching. And like, comment, and subscribe. And if you haven't already, follow me on my social media, Twitter, and Instagram. I'll put it in the description below. And I will see you guys tomorrow.